Okay, so today we're going to make a rack of lamb using the sous vide technique, which is uh, slow cooking in a water bath and then searing it at the end to get a nice beautiful uh, crust on it. And then we're going to make a cognac sauce to go with it. So I set the sous vide, which is this little device over here, to take the temperature in this water bath up to 125 degrees, which is good if I want to get a medium rare. So all I'm going to do with the rack of lamb itself today is I'm going to liberally salt it, liberally, and I'm also going to pepper. That's all, so all we're going to put on, but that's all we're going to put on it because the sauce is where a lot of the flavor is going to come from. So for the lamb itself, all I really want is to have it nice, uh, nice and seasoned with salt and pepper. Okay. Stay on. And I already have my bag ready here, my sous vide bag. So I take the uh, lamb with the salt and pepper on it, stick it in this bag, and then I vacuum seal it on a little vacuum machine here. Now you don't have to do it this way. I mean, if you don't have a vacuum machine, you don't want to get a vacuum machine, you can always uh, use a Ziploc bag. And what you do in that case is because the um, because you need to get the air out of it, and this won't, you don't have one of these, what you do is you put it slowly in the water, and the water will push in, and it'll make the air come out. When you get right to the top of that, what you're going to do then is right when you get to the top, before you can let any water get in, you're going to seal the Ziploc bag. And that'll, that'll get as much air out as you can. So now I'm going to take this, I'm going to put this in here, and it's going to sit in there, it's at least an hour. But it could go two, it could go three, it really doesn't make any difference because it's going to get to that perfect temperature all the way through and you can hold it there for a few hours. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start the base of my cognac sauce. So I've got my pan here and what I have here is I have some lamb bones and a little bit of trimmed meat, meat that I trimmed off those bones that um, I had and I roasted these at 350 degrees until they're brown, which takes about 20 minutes. Now I'm going to put that in the saucepan, and then I'm going to add to that um, a half a cup of demi-gloss, which you can get from the store. A lot of places have it, um, or you can order it online. Uh, there's places that you can get it online. So there's a half a cup of demi-gloss, a half a cup of cognac, a half a teaspoon of black peppercorns, and then um, a spray of rosemary that I'm going to bruise. All right, why do I bruise? I bruise it because I want to get so just to get it start, give it a head start with the oils coming out of the leaves. I'm just going to put that in here. Now, what that's going to do is I'm going to bring this up to a low simmer. I'm going to simmer it uh, very low for about 30 minutes. All I'm trying to do is get some of the lamb flavor out of the bones, get the flavor out of the rosemary and the peppercorns and then when that's done after about 30 minutes of low simmering I'm going to strain it through a fine mesh strainer and then we're going to finish the sauce after searing the lamb. So this is all going to go for a while and uh, we'll be back later and I'll show you how quickly this comes together. So I'm back, Donna's here with me and it's time to finish up our lamb dinner. I'm going to take the uh, lamb out of the sous vide. It's been in here a couple hours, but it's been holding, right? It holds right. at the same temperature. And I will open it up just like this. And then I've got this pan heating up here, getting it nice and hot. I want to dry this, but it's perfectly cooked inside. Should be ready to go medium rare. I just need to sear it now because it kind of looks like an ugly gray. Right. And you don't have that nice flavor that comes with something. So I'm going to take, uh, this is some clarified butter in the very hot pan. You can see the pan is smoking. I just want to put a little bit, that's all. I don't need a lot. Just a, a thin layer. There we go. And now we're going to very quickly sear this because I don't need to cook it anymore. I just want to get really hot and I want to get a nice crust on that. Here are my tongs. All right, so there's nothing to cook here. There's you know, nothing to cook. It's completely cooked all the way through. So all I'm doing is giving it a sear. And then once this is seared, I'm going to do the um, sauce. All right, making lots of smoke. Make the exhaust work overtime. See, this is not taking very long. Uh, 
Again, I'm trying to get that nice browning on it. I've got this cranked up all the way. I got just enough clarified butter to make sure it doesn't stick too much. Got all my ingredients over here. I'm going to have butter, shallots, red um, pepper, and not onion. red pepper, red onion. I've got, this is the, you remember I made that, this is what was left out of the, uh, the base that I made after I cooked it for about a half an hour and cooked it down. Uh, I'm going to cook it down a little bit more. And then, of course, I'll correct with the salt, which comes at the end. All right, like I said, this is cooked. All I was doing was searing it. I'm going to put it down over here. Now I'm going to turn this down. A tablespoon of butter. This is um, a tablespoon, actually it's two tablespoons of shallot, diced shallot, and one tablespoon of diced red onion. Now I don't need to cook this very long. I just want to get that initial little, little saute on it keeping stuff nice and going here. Then I'm going to add my, this was the, what I made earlier from the cognac and the bones and the demi-gloss. All right, we're going to let that go for a minute. We're going to let that go and thicken a little bit. While that's thickening, let me go and get the rest of dinner. So we have, this is some nice cauliflower and parsnip, parsnip puree. puree. Grab a plate, put the plate here. This is getting, this is just about ready to, to give it its final taste there. All right, so let's take some of this puree and put it down on here. There we go. There it looks good. Go up to the side. I have got my lamb, which doesn't need to rest, by the way, when you cook sous vide style. Okay, that sauce is done. That's done. See, it's nice and thickened up. Looks beautiful. All I need to do is give it a taste, figure out how much salt to put in. A decent amount because it had none before, but I just wanted to make sure. Grab another spoon. Oh, perfect. That's good. No mucking around with that. Get my slicing knife, and I'm going to slice these beautiful lamb chops. Well, from here, and I'm gonna have to get a, gonna have to be a little tough with them. That they don't want to come through the bone here. I have a system for that. I didn't want to quite. There we go. There we go. That's better. Nope. Tell you what, we're gonna do. Always good to have one of these Chinese cleavers, yeah. cleavers to get through the last little bit of bone if it if you can't get through. We're going to plate this like so. Does that look good? Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. And now, sauce so thinned out a little bit too much on me, so we fix that with a shot of hot water. Just like there. There we go. That's what I wanted. I'm going to turn this off. It's driving me crazy. All right. And we'll get spoon here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Wait, you're not done yet. Don't touch it yet. <coughs> you have to hit it with a little bit of parsley. And some lemon zest. Okay. 
Voila! Yes, beautiful. Give that a taste. All right. Oh, he gave me a steak knife. I really don't need it. <laughs> that has nothing to do with how good I cook. That has to do with the quality <laughs> of the meat. <laughs> mm. Oh, really tasty. Perfectly tender. Perfectly evenly cooked all the way through with mm -hmm. the sous vide. And um, lovely sauce. Not really assertive. Just mm -hmm. complements the meat perfectly. And I never would have thought of it, but I like that hit of lemon zest at the end. Good. Yeah, yes. because I, there was no acid whatsoever. This yeah. wasn't marinated in any acid. Mm -hmm. There was no acid in the sauce or anything like that. I didn't want to hit it with acid, but, but still that kind of lemony flavor. That, break, that really works. Very good. Yes. Okay, everybody. Well, we're going to sit down, enjoy ourselves, have a nice dinner, and I hope you'll come and join us next time.